Get ready to see China's most advanced land and aerial vehicles powered by electricity. How's it going? This is Richard Aguilar and of course, this is Arthur and we are back again today to give you another awesome video. But before anything else, always don't forget to click on the subscribe button and don't forget to push the bell icon so that you will always be updated with our new videos. The popularity of electric vehicles in China has been expanding rapidly over the past few years. But today in this video, you will see some amazing electric vehicles, not only designed for land transportation, because in this video, you will also see China's advanced air vehicles powered by electricity. And so, having said all this, without further delay, let's get into our video. Number 1 is New Chinese Electric Airplane Completes Trial Flight. Take a look at the new generation electric plane in China. It completed its first trial flight in Xinjiang City, northeast China's Liaoning province. This airplane was independently designed and developed by Xinjiang Airspace University. This airplane is powered by 6 lithium batteries and it can stay in the air 2 hours, making it the new energy electric airplane with the strongest cruising ability in China. In addition to its long flight time, this airplane is equipped with an integrated parachute which the airplane can use to land. Number 2 is China's first electric aircraft shines at flight show. China's first electric plane RX-1E Ruixiang has become the world's first electric passenger airplane to receive an airworthiness certificate with an ultimate motive of reducing the fossil fuel usage wherever possible. Electric plane sector is one area where many nations are encouraging their scientists. As China's official media reported, the electric plane RX-1E Ruixiang designed by Xinjiang Aerospace University and Liaoning General Aviation Academy in the northeastern Liaoning province received its airworthiness certificate from the Civil Aviation Administration of China. Number 3 is China Electric Vehicle Rally kicked off in Northwestern China. The 2019 China Electric Vehicle Rally at Qinghai Lake kicked off in Xining City in northwestern China's Qinghai Province, with the most exciting stunt show as the opening. The CEVR features only electric cars and is also the world's highest altitude EV competition. Number 4 is 
China develops new electric soundless aircraft. Meet the new Chinese-made electric plane RX-1EA. The two-seat plane was made over the course of 23 months. Compared with the previous model, it has a larger max propulsion power. Its max takeoff weight has been increased from 500 kg to 600 kg. Its flight duration has been more than doubled to 120 minutes. It is powered by high-performance lithium batteries, which make it more environmentally friendly and energy-saving. Number 5 is Chinese-made electric trash trucks made debut in Brazil. A cutting-edge automotive advance can be seen rolling down the streets of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. But it won't turn heads. It's not flashy or slick. Still, there's plenty reasons for city's newest trust trucks to gain admirers. It's 100% electric, the first of 200 on order from Chinese vehicle maker BYD. Number 6 is BYD launches world's longest pure electric bus. BYD is proud to announce the launch of the K12A at the company's headquarters in Shenzhen, the world's first 27-meter pure electric bus. With a passenger capacity of 250 people, it is the longest pure electric bus in the world and can travel at a maximum speed of 70 km per hour. Additionally, it is also the world's first electric bus equipped with a distributed four-wheel drive system, which can switch between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive smoothly to meet the demands of different terrains, while also lowering the vehicle's overall energy consumption. Number 7 is Chinese built electric railway to boost trades. The Addis Ababa Djibouti railway project which links the two East African countries and contracted by two Chinese companies will boost facilitation of transport of goods and people between the two countries in terms of time and quantity. So that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. 
If you have something to say about this video, let us know in your comments below. And also, don't forget to like and share this with others. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. And this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.